my name is Akiliti from the Department of Hospital Designs and today we are going to study about a particular chapter from mine. So here we are going to study about the five major production methods of sparkling wine. Yes. We studied different types of wines actually that is from the table wine like red wine, rose wine and uh, white wine. After that you can see another categorization something on the sparkling then you can see something like for, for maybe you can fortified and aromatized. These all are the major classifications. So the second category is that sparkling wine. So let's understand about sparkling wines. What is sparkling wine and how sparkling wines are made. So sparkling wine is nothing but which just sparkles or which is infused by carbon dioxide. So you know that from uh, like uh, for example, if you take a normal soda bottle or uh, like any aerated beverages, when you open, you can see the uh, carbon dioxide which is present inside and it releases and it makes a sound, obviously, right? And you can see the uh, whatever the liquor, whatever the product, I mean the uh, beverage inside, it will start to make small small bubbles which comes up. How it is happening? Because inside that is already you are infused some carbon dioxide. Inside. That carbon dioxide when it releases, so and when oxygen touches this, what will happen? There is a chemical reaction and happens, and that is a reason it started to sparkle. That means the carbon dioxide which is present inside it is releasing. Yes. So let's understand. So there is a wine which is actually infused by carbon dioxide. Those wines are known as sparkling wine. In parties and all, you can see the people open the sparkling wine and sparkle it over. Right? How this sparkles? Because the carbon dioxide which is present inside. So normally you heard something known as champagne. Champagne is a type of sparkling wine. How champagne is different from some other sparkling wines are champagne is a product which is coming from the champagne region of France. So champagne can produce only in that particular region. That is the reason we call it something like all the sparkling wines are not champagne. But all the champagnes are sparkling wine. Right? All the Champagnes are sparkling wine, but all the sparkling wines are not champagne. The reason is that because the uh, champagne sparkling wine is prepared from only the region known as champagne of champagne region of France. Yes. So let's understand different methods or five major production methods of sparkling wine. So the first one is traditional method, or this is known as champignonist method. Okay. So let's understand this is traditional method. This is the way how we prepare the champagne. Okay. So the high quality products are prepared through the traditional method or champagne method. So here you can see the hand picked the, the better quality of uh, uh, what you can tell uh, grapes are used here and all the clusters. The mechanizations, all the, the machines, all these are used there. General pressing is given. So champagne house are uh, and the vineyards are the proper type of uh, pressing unit should be there. And first fermentation is in a still it is. And uh, you can see around the 10 to 11 percentage of alcohol may be generated. Uh, then go for the blending process. After the, uh, we will add the yeast, nutrients, and if you are clarifying agents, that is known as liquor the ticket. Next step. Secondary fermentation is doing here. That is inside the bottle the secondary fermentation. That means you are adding again some yeast into the bottle. So the secondary fermentation is happening inside the bottle. The next after that the the body can tell the carbon dioxide will start to generate more there. So the more pressure will be generated inside. Then after that riddling will happen. Then disgorgement. This means uh what do you mean by disgorgement? Disgorgement means you know that you have added the yeast inside, inside the bottle. Now there will be a lot of sediments or uh, leaves will be there. Now these sediments need to be thrown out or these sediments need to be taken out. That process is known as disgorgement. That is the term for removal of thorns, thorns and yeast cap. That means the yeast sediments which is there inside need to be uh, removed. In, uh, how can we remove that? Because now the yeast, that uh, sediments we need to make it in a crystal or frozen form. Then open the bottle and throwing it off and again keeping it closed and keeping it for a long time uh, over how they get uh, to produce the right amount of uh, pressure inside by creating uh, carbon dioxide. Yes. And it will go for uh, uh, bottling. So that is what the traditional method is all talking about. 
The next method is known as transfer method or transfer passage method. So here as the name tells transfer. Yes. So here also good uh, uh, quality of grapes are used. General pressing is given. First first uh, fermentation like uh, how uh, addition method is given. Then go for blending. Then adding of yeast that is liquid that creates uh, we call it as. Then secondary fermentation same as in body uh, the uh, traditional method like inside the bottle only. But here what makes is uh, the degorgement is not doing. Okay, that is what the difference of transfer method. The next one is tank or charmet method. Charmet method is another speciality method which is even used in the production of sparkling wine. Here the first fermentation in stainless steel cartridge based wine is being to And secondary fermentation is in sealed tanks it is happening, not inside the bottles. It is in a tank only the secondary fermentation is happening. And the carbon dioxide will be generated there. Then the wine later it will be filtered to avoid or to really, I mean, remove the uh, sediments or leaves. After that the wine is bottled under a good amount of pressure. So that is known as stamina. And the fourth method is known as Asti method. What is Asti method? Here the must is chilled. It does not start fermenting. And it is stored until needed. And it is a fermented to order to create a fresh and new batch of wine. So that is the speciality of Asti method. And next is which when needed. Must is warm the fermentation. The one and only fermentation which is in this method. So Asti's fermentation is known as a warm must should be warm after that. Then the CO2 will be allowed to be escape and the carbon dioxide will be generated there. And fermentation is stopped early by chilling the wine. How the fermentation is stopped? It will be chilled. So this fermentation will store, slow down and around uh, 7 to 7.5 above average of, uh, of I mean, alcohol can be generated there. And uh, finally the wine is filtered. So that is known as Asti method. And next is known as carbonation method. Yeah, carbonation method is nothing but you know that carbon dioxide infusion. Is nothing but. So this is known as when uh, what we can tell uh, the when called as ancestral method. So CO2, yeah, carbon dioxide is injected into a wine. So here the, the injection method is happening. Then after that, wines are made by carbonation method. Then throughout the world in an inex inexpensive sparkling wines are made. This is the cheapest way of preparation of wine we can even call it as. So here the wine is made in a cheaper way by injecting carbon dioxide inside the bottle and, and, and inside the wine and it will be bottled. So that is the word and these all are the different methods.